EU regulation may harm small crypto players, stablecoin users, and Elon Musk, it says. As the European Commission's proposed regulation on markets and crypto assets is advancing through its first readings in the European Council and the European Parliament, a lawyer warns that it could make it more difficult for small players to enter the European Union's crypto market. Other points of concern are related to the proposed requirement on regulatory authorization for stable coins and the prohibition of interest on fiat pegged stable coins. So they want to get rid of interest on fiat pegged stable coins like DAI, like DAI, you know, all those ones you could earn. Also, there's the Elon Musk clause that prohibits manipulations by market influencers. The EU document was leaked last September, providing a glimpse behind Brussels' plan to regulate crypto assets, in particular fiat peg stablecoins, and possibly making the block the first major jurisdiction to regulate this asset class. Since then, more details on these plans have emerged, stirring further controversy among industry observers and here's a quote uh, it says this isn't the quote hold on meanwhile the regulations proposed elon musk clause is another feature that could spur controversies here's the quote the so-called market influencers might refrain from utilizing social or conventional media to cause a decrease or increase in the price of cryptocurrencies once the regulation once the regulation comes into force the regulation prohibits such market manipulations, which could be punishable with criminal remedies depending on the applicable national law. And down here, we have another quote. There is no explanation in the regulation as to why this intrusion to financial autonomy is necessary. Autonomy. Autonomy? I think that's how you say it. <laughs> this prohibition will deprive European citizens of an attractive investment option, particularly considering that financial stimuli instruments adopted to limit the economic impact of lockdowns are expected to result in historically high inflation rates. Adding that the regulation over-regulates stablecoins. So this is a hammer they want to bring down on stablecoins. According to the researcher, with the interest ban, the EU legislature, legis blah, 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 EU legislator is, argue, is arguably aiming to disincentivize the investment of crypto profits in stablecoins because they want you to cash out directly into fiat because they want to tax the shit out of you they don't want you to be able to pull out into stablecoins so you can then put back in because then you don't have to pay at that point right so that's how that rolls and consequently to protect the interests of the european banking sector furthermore <clears throat> this protects the interests of national tax authorities, she said, who will find it substantially easier to monitor crypto profits if they are turned into fiat money rather than kept in stablecoins. So they're trying to drop the hammer down on stablecoins <clears throat> because they don't want <clears throat> they don't want you to take your profits into stablecoins and then wait for the market to drop because stablecoin is still a crypto. So they want to regulate it. So if you do take it out into stable coins, they're going to they want you to take it out into fiat or they're going to make some regulation where if you take it out into stable coins, then that's when the tax is going to happen. It's going to be something like that. This is actually pretty insane. There's some big stuff going on in the EU. Um, other than that. We're chilling with XRP, XDC and XLM. Everything is chilling right now, but I thought that story had a lot, had a lot going on with it. So I wanted to reread that for everybody.